I think we should have a law at the federal level that would say after 15 weeks, no abortion on demand, and that should be where America's at. The senator's proposal would keep in place the most extreme, the most extreme state level abortion bans that ban all abortions. It is an extreme piece of legislation and it is in line from what we are seeing uh, from Republicans on these extreme uh, ad agendas that is not in line, that is not in line with majority uh, of Americans. America is a country committed to individual freedom and the rights of the people to make their own decisions and not having busybody theocrat politicians in state capitals telling them how to make their own decisions about their careers, about their lives, about their families, and about their health care. And certainly not allowing Lindsey Graham to dictate to the women of America what their destiny will be. Graham, what would you say to somebody like me who found out that their son had an anomaly that was incompatible life in 16 weeks? What I have regular appointments, I did everything I'm right, and at 16 weeks we found out that our son would likely not yep. live. When he was born, he lived for eight days. Yeah. He bled from every orifice of his body, but we were allowed to make that choice for him. Yes, would you be robbing that choice from those women? What do you say to someone like well, me? Here's what I would say. The world pretty much has spoken on this issue. Uh, the developed world has said at this stage into the, the pregnancy, uh, the child feels pain, and and we're saying we're going to join the rest of the world and not be like Iran. As to your particular case, there'll be exceptions for life of the mother and rape and incest. There but are uh, exceptions in this bill. Mr. Smalls, have you filed a complaint when you thought you were wrong? Have I? Yes. The Attorney General of the State of New York has on my behalf. Okay, but, but you had a process where somebody could advocate for your interest. There is a process that's not working. Okay, well, that's your opinion. Now, that's a we'll, fact. We'll... And you should listen because we do represent your constituents as well. Um, so just take that into consideration that the people are the ones that make these corporations go. It's not the, it's not the other way around. Mr. Chairman, I really enjoyed working with you, but wow. <laughs> this committee is uh, taking a very dangerous turn under your leadership, to be honest with you. You're singling out a single company because of your political agenda to socialize this country. Every time I turn around, you're having a hearing about anybody that makes money is bad. The government needs to grow beyond our ability to pay for it. And we're going to have an election on your ideas here soon, and I can't wait. Responding briefly to Senator Graham, I think he suggested that a hearing like this is radical. And you know what? I think he's right. In a Congress dominated by corporate lobbyists and wealthy campaign contributors, the idea that we would actually hear from the working class of this country is, in fact, radical. Uh, but I make no apologies uh, for that. Could you fairly judge a Catholic? Senator, I have a record of I fairly think the answer would be yes. judging I everyone. I believe you can. <laughs> Count me in for more revenue. We're going to need more revenue. But if you think taxing the wealthy is going to save Social Security, uh, you're wrong. If I may, Mr. Chairman, that's not correct. We're not talking about raising. We're not? I'm sorry. No, 6.2 percent on all income. Okay, it's last year she said 12.4. Well, so, ask me. That's I'll ask my you. Bill. It's 6.2. <laughs> you can be doing this for 15 minutes, and all of a sudden, you are looking at 30, 40, 50 years in prison. Good. Cut. Good. I understand. Absolutely Senator, good. I hope you are. To do good. Allow her to finish, please. I hope you go to jail for 50 years. If you're on the internet trolling for images please. of children and sexual exploitation. See, so you don't think that's a bad thing. I think that's a horrible that's thing. Uh, this morning, uh, I'm going to announce my decision on Judge Jackson's nomination to the Supreme Court. I will oppose her and I will vote no. Is the president disappointed in particular that Senator Lindsey Graham, who had voted for Judge Jackson before, opted to vote against her yesterday? The president is looking forward to uh, Judge Jackson getting confirmed. And I would say, as I said, echo what I said yesterday, which is this is a question best posed to Senator Lindsey Graham. What exactly has changed since he voted to support her uh, just 
recently, relatively recently. She has the exact same credentials, exact same qualifications. So no, I wouldn't say the president's spending a lot of time thinking about it, but I would say it's a good question to pose to Senator Graham.